Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my third video in Reviving the Dead Projects. And in this video what we're going to do is, I was trying to get the requirements.txt file for our whole project so that we can use it whenever we want to deploy it. But what happens is if I just use pfreeze and requirements.txt in this directory that I have, it's going to give all the packages that I've installed, the Python packages that I've installed in my computer. So what we want to do is we just want to create a virtual environment and run this project in that virtual environment. And what it does is whenever we run pip freeze requirements.txt, it's going to get the packages that are installed in that virtual environment. So let's go ahead and talk with our chat GPT and then say hey chat GPT I want to run my Django project in a virtual environment how can I do that so we'll just see what chat GPT has to say because there's a syntax and I'm not sure of the syntax it says i have to install the virtual environment okay uh django okay let's just ask a specific question what if i already have a django project and i want to work on it in the virtual environment. It's just giving us a fresh installation of virtual environment and then the project. Okay, it says to your Django project virtual environment uh, VENV. Let's just try that. Let's start with that. Okay, pip install virtual env while it's installing the virtual environment we'll just see that and then we need to do uh, virtual env venv it says could not install the package due to error so that happens whenever we don't use a admin terminal sorry it's virtual env it says we already have it so if we delete this and then create a new bash, it says, huh. Okay. Okay, let's see what happened here. We did that. We installed, we'll delete all that and then reload it. And then we'll just see virtual env. Oh, it's, it's, it's in the bash? Yeah. It is. Navigate to the root of your directory and run this command. Here, venv is the name of your virtual environment. Okay, it's saying virtual env command not found. We probably have to add it to the environment variables. Okay. Let's see, Python was not found. It should find it now. Yes. Oh, I think it's creating the virtual environment now. Inside of that, reactivating terminals, create a virtual environment, begin in your project, activate the virtual environment. 
Okay. I think we had to run it using the Python command. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we do have the venv, so venv scripts. What was it? Activate. Okay, what about in bass source? Does this work? Yeah. They give us VENV and I don't know how to make sure. Okay, we are in virtual environment. Okay, it's showing us. So we'll install tape install Django if it already does not have a Django in there. And then let's see summary. If, uh, if it's missing, you can do that. And it says if you want to deactivate it, we can just deactivate it. Pip installed as our requirements.txt. Ah, uh, okay. Let's say, sorry. Oblog Pro, Pip, Freeze. We haven't installed a lot of packages in this virtual environment, so it's just going to populate with Django, I believe. Let's see what happens. It says Django, SQL parse, and all of that. If we try to run the project, I think it's going to give us some error. Yeah, there we go. We haven't installed all of those. So we'll say pip install dj database URL. pip install django ck editor and uh, let's try to run it one more time and let's see what other packages we are missing from here it says sendgrid although we're not using sendgrid let me just install it for right now and we can just take it off whenever we don't need to use it let's run the server one more time Improperly configured. Okay, what's the error here? <clears throat> it says white noise. Okay. Pip install white noise. Okay, I think that should do it, and we are inside our project. We're good. And then let's try to pip freeze our requirements one more time and there we go we have the updated packages that are used in this project so this way it will be easier whenever we want to host or deploy our project so in this video I'll just leave it to this and in our next video we'll dive deeper into fixing this project and making it brand new and deploying it <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying this series and i'm definitely enjoying it it's been quite a refresher for me and thanks for watching